In this video, we're going to talk about the HTML editor inside of Azure Learn 4. So anywhere you're on a screen and you see this editor bar at the top, that is where you can put text and images and other media uh, into that space. So let's talk about some of the tools in that. Obviously, the area down here is where we put the text or media. I'm going to include some text in there right now. Uh, just so that we have something to work with. And a note with this, if you are using the paste command, make sure you paste this plain text so that if you've copied from Word or another web page, you don't get uh, background code or other um, things in the background that you may not be aware of that may have an, uh, an adverse effect on the way it's displayed. So I've got some text here. This first icon uh, here is styles so primarily I wanted to point out the top three here these are styles for headings so if I use this I can say topic one is heading uh, one type topic two is also the large heading and then I would indicate these lower ones as a secondary heading and what this is primarily going to do for us, if we're using a screen reader, so if a participant has a screen reader, um, it's very difficult with a screen reader to scan through text to find sections. So these headings and subheadings, and I can use this one here uh, at the bottom as, as my third type of heading. Um, these heading and subheading labels will make sure that the screen reader can give them kind of an index so that they can search through uh, those texts uh, easier. Don't use this to increase text size or show emphasis. Uh, there are other ways to do that. In general, we're not going to increase text size simply because we never know what the browser is going to be that the student is looking at this. It could be a smartphone with a very small screen and that will adjust the text to, to meet that. Uh, it could be a very large screen where they actually have to increase the text size uh, so that they can see it if they have vision problems. So we typically don't want uh, on a modern web page to change text size. For any of these things in here uh, we can bold to show emphasis. Uh, we can also italics to give us a different emphasis style. And I've done that just by highlighting and selecting one of those two. This next icon here will clear those choices out. So if we wanted to, to wipe those back out, that would be good. We can also, in here, we can insert an ordered list. So um, I can put in numbered items. I can use the indent function, which are these two icons here, to make subheadings within my list. So I can also insert here ordered list. So that's a numbered list. So I can have pieces ordered. If I highlight one of these and use my indent again, I can get sublist within that. Additionally, we can put in links, and so that's these next two icons here. So if I click this first link, I can put in some text to display, and so I'm just going to put in ASU's web page. And with this, I always want the text to display to give an indication to the user of where this link is going to go to. Uh, don't use things like click here or click or something like that. The link should be tell them where to go. Also, do not use the URL for the link uh, in there because the text reader coming through would read the URL and then read it again because it would show the actual URL link. And I'm just going to put in App State. I don't typically want to open in a new window because that is very confusing. It, it can lead to where they can't get back into your class if they lose where they are. So uh, typically we want to open it in the new window or the same window that we're in. So there's our web page uh, as a blue underlined text link. I can clear that or delete that by highlighting it and clicking this next uh, link to unlink. Additionally, I can put in an image. So this next icon is insert image. 
and I can browse for that image and I have the option of my Google Docs file uh, local files or uploading a file from my computer so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to choose that and here's a, a picture of a car and I'm going to choose a license uh, this one happens to be a, a Creative Commons license uh, picture so I'm going to use that and then I want to make sure that I put in a description for this so this is an alt tag uh, to indicate what the the image is for someone who couldn't see it so this is a silver and burgundy 1978 Panther DeVille saloon car so that would give them an indication if an image on your page has no value it's it's not adding to the content of the page you can mark that as uh, decorative only which will mean that it doesn't have an alt tag and that the screen reader would indicate as decorative only uh, I would in uh, I would tend to lean towards if they're decorative only leave them out uh, these are informational pages uh, we don't really want the the student to have to uh, go through and, and go around pay images that don't mean anything uh, this page or this image is fairly large so I could change uh, the piece here but I want to leave this auto size on so that uh, it can adjust uh, the size of the page and then here at the bottom there's a save image piece and so with that in I've got this nice image uh, inserted in with my alt tag uh, included I can also put in h5p content um, so if you're building h5p activities within your Azure Learn class you can insert those directly from here I can also with this little um, multicolored snowflake looking icon that's my Kaltura I can go there and instantly access anything within my Kaltura video so I could take one of these videos and embed it directly into this uh, web interface uh, wherever it happens to be I have an undo and redo command so if I do something I go oh I don't want to do that I can simply click undo uh, this next icon shows me the HTML tags behind the page and for most of us that's not going to mean anything uh, but if you do know HTML and you want to go in and edit uh, you can change HTML here now additionally some things that people don't realize about the editor one is this little uh, first arrow here is a show more buttons so this gives us another set of commands down here including underline strike through uh, subscript and superscript uh, we can change some styles so if I come here and grab this sub subheading uh, I can pick a badge warning style so it gives me that uh, black with a goldish uh, yellow background be careful of using these these are all really good styles and they're picked specifically um, so that they're good color contrast and uh, are easier to read but they really aren't designed to have every piece of text on a web page highlighted they should be used very sparingly uh, within that to show emphasis on something we have the alignments left right and center we have manage files so that we can attach files to this page um, an equation editor and insert special characters we can still build tables uh, be careful of building tables within a page um, those are good for data layout but not for showing where things are on the page if you want text on one side and an image on the other don't insert a table to do that there are other ways to do that with the insert image option um, we do have a accessibility checker and screen reader helper that will help you uh, make sure those pages are good and emoticons and um, this prevent auto linking piece not as much use in those um, but these are some useful commands that we can do something else that I want to point out here is this window is fairly small so I do have a increase window size so uh, I can make this longer 
If I scroll down the page, uh, I can make this longer so that I can see more of my page at one time. Um, and then once we hit save, all these saves, uh, changes will be saved for us.